Well, today has been pretty nice to be outdoors all around the southeast. We've had a clear sky, so that's giving us a clear scan on action radar, and that's going to be the case for the next few days, even with some thin clouds possibly working their way in from the west as we head through the day tomorrow and for Wednesday as well. But stepping outdoors, this is the view from downtown Dothan. The sun is setting just some thin clouds off in the distance. There's also a little bit of smoke in the air. I noticed some fires off on the horizon uh, from our vantage point here a little bit earlier. 24% relative humidity. Humidity. That's pretty dry air, so once the sun sets, those temperatures will be able to drop off fairly quickly down into the 70s and then the 60s for us later on and during the evening hours. 80 degrees for Ozark. Enterprise now cooling off to 79 degrees, 82 for Mariana. So all locations in the wiregrass are pretty comfortable. That sky will remain mainly clear with those temperatures then in the 60s as we head into the 10 o'clock hour. Overnight lows will stay in the upper 50s for most locations here in the wiregrass. Tomorrow Tomorrow with a lot of sunshine we should be able to warm up pretty nicely again into the mid 80s for a lot of locations a little bit cooler for Wednesday and for Thursday as some uh, thinner cloud cover moves back into the picture filtering the sunshine just a bit and there will be extra moisture in place with a southerly breeze so that'll make it feel stickier but the actual air temperatures will be a little bit cooler ahead of those rain chances that we are expecting to be here on and off through the day on Friday then we will be drying out and warming up again for this weekend. High pressure is keeping us nice and dry for right now. This is going to be shifting a little bit further to the east now allows to get the return flow off the Gulf of Mexico. That southerly breeze will bring in that uh, extra moisture. Our next storm system is organizing in the midsection of the country over New Mexico and the Texas Panhandle and also this cold front will slowly move into the region as we head into Thursday and for Friday. But until then staying pretty dry hour by hour throughout the day. Tomorrow mainly sunny sky for the morning hours if you're going to be traveling further to the north into the river region, central Alabama, maybe a little bit more in the way of a partly cloudy sky. And then overnight into Wednesday, we'll have a mainly cloudy sky at times, but then clearing out through the day on Wednesday with that southerly flow, increasing that humidity ahead of that next storm system, which will be just on our doorstep by then. And then as we go into Thursday, that's when we do expect more in the way of those rain and storm chances to begin to move into the forecast, likely in the evening hours for tonight. Mainly clear, a mild night temperatures in the lower to middle 50s for wake up temperatures for tomorrow. So looking pretty good, pretty much on the mild side for us for the next several nights. And then for tomorrow, we'll have a mainly sunny and warm afternoon temperatures in the lower to middle 80s for those afternoon high temperatures. Nothing away if, um, of rainfall expected until we get to the later part of Thursday, Friday. Scattered showers and storms expected. Not uh, anything severe at this point, but we'll see those conditions clear out as we go into the weekend. Temperatures warming up again into the 